My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Bolt of the Void. Again, at the top of this episode, I would like to let you know that this series is currently sponsored. There is a link at the very top of the description down below to pick up Bolt of the Void for yourself on Steam. Here is the Daughter of the Void, the third class yet again, but we are going to be going for the Sacrifice deck. Uh, we have in this deck Grasp. Deal 7 damage, Soul Tithe 1. When you gain Soul Tithe, you gain a point of corruption for each, game, uh, each gained point of Soul Tithe. At the start of your turn, you suffer threat equal to your Soul Tithe. So it is a... Uh, it's an active negative that you are taking. But it gives you the ability to hit thresholds. If your Soul Tithe is at or above that value, trigger the conditional following. So this is deal 7 damage, Soul Tithe 1. Threshold 7, deal 50% corruption damage. It upgrades to lower the threshold. And we also have Harness Sin over here. Block 7. On Purge and on Threshold 5, uh, Rage 25% upgrades to increase to 10 block and lower the threshold. Soul's Kiss. Soul Type 4, Rage 25%, Delay Block by 8. If you discard this card, that is not Purging. Discard does not count as Purging. So, uh, well, discard doesn't count as purging, the purging doesn't count as discard. Okay, cool. Uh, it's, if you discard it, instead it will give you rage 50% and also expel from the deck. Upgrades to Soul Tithe 5, Delay Block 10, and rage 75%. And then the final is Spirit Shield, we've seen Spirit Shield before. Our starting spell with this version is Sacrifice. Three turn tool gown to give you 50% rage, uh, Threshold 8 to give you Death Strike 1. Interesting. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Limit. When you are at 13 or more Soul Tithe, you no longer gain Soul Tithe. Expel. Oh, and it upgrades to Soul Tithe gaining effects only give corruption instead. Well, that's... I kind of assumed it was going to be that by base, but... That'll that'll definitely make you definitely make me want to do that one rather. Uh, Blade of Darkness, nine damage, Soul Tithe one. Apply Vulnerable one. Upgrades to Vulnerable two with the Soul Tithe one on it still. Um, security blanket, block six, threshold seven, trigger an extra time. That is great, great. Uh, Spirit Shield's probably one of the least valuable ones here. So is Blood for Blood, but I think if Blood for Blood rerolls, it might reroll just into a non-class card again. So I'm gonna Spirit Shield. Salt Axe. Deal uh, damage related to corruption and salt tithe. Sure. Pop those in the deck. Now, here's the thing I am going to need ways to reduce my salt tithe. Otherwise, uh. Well, do I? No, because we've got that card that'll just max out our salt tithe. Hmm. Recur to random non affliction cards. And then also Soul Tithe 3 and Sift 2. Hmm. Null and Void sifting random affliction cards is always pretty good. It's just our damage is not necessarily related to our corruption. And it's only really attack cards that we want. Because the attack cards are benefiting from rage, whereas the rest of them are not. Power draw could be fine. Just soul Tithe draw. Yeah, I'll take Soul Tide Draw. Start next round with Random Potion. 20% damage taken. Every third turn, gain 100% Rage. Probably gonna go for that one. At the absolute least. Lose 20 max HP, gain the Tea Leaves Relic. So the Tea Leaves Relic, uh, tea leaves relic rather, is Praying for Greed at Shrines will grant you an upgrade point. I know that I can use it two times this floor and keep the Void I get from the Cursed Item. If I get a Void from the Cursed Item, that is. It also does cost me 20% max HP, which might just not be worth it. Maybe we just take the upgrade point. I'm going to just take the upgrade point. Let's have a look at the cards in the backpack. That limit definitely wants to be upgraded. 
Take the limit, put it in the deck. Um, let's cut a harness. Get a security blanket in there, cut another harness. Power draw goes in there instead of a grass. Maybe a salt. No, salt axe is it's just not enough right now. Later, darkness goes in instead of a grass. Definitely though. I do ultimately want to use the salt axe stuff, but can't yet. Block six, threshold seven, draw one. Nice. Let's have a look at the map rewards first. Strike with blood. Deal damage, set Soul Tithe to 10 or 6 after the fact. No, it kind of does the same thing that I'm already doing right now. Uh, Forbidden Pact, increase your hand size by 1. When you draw a card, suffer threat equal to its cost. Increase your hand size by 2. When you draw a card, suffer threat equal to its cost. Not when you draw an extra card, but when you draw a card at all. So every hand, I'm going to be... Suffering like 10, 20 threat? 10, where's hand size? So seven. I guess, you know, if I am going through all of our cards, that is seven. And then the average cost is like 1.5 ish. 10? 10 damage a turn to increase your hand size by two. I mean, increasing your hand size is really, really good. It's also energy. Let's have a look at Soul Roulette. Start of turn, if Soul Tithe is even, sift one. If it's odd, draw and discard one. Then, Soul Tithe one. Man, I wish that was inverted. Because I'm going to be maxing out at 13 Soul Tithe a lot of the time here. Counter, block two each time an attack card is played. Uh... Yeah, yes. Uh, Unshackle, Death Strike 1, Rage 25% and Rebound. If it's used as your opener though, Death Strike 3 and Expel. Intriguing. Shield Bash for vulnerability on an enemy as well as block. Nice. Just a good card. Uh, Reap and Sow deals damage as well as has the Energy Rift. Eh. Concentrate's just really good. S tax Evasion. Block equal to your Soul Tide. This turn, Soul Tide gaining effects only give corruption instead. No, we already have that effect, basically. Uh, Veil, a block card that draws a card for you. Like that. Diversion, Massacre, Flesh and Blood. Purges to gain a corruption. Not a bad uh, Death Strike target. Uh, we'll be using Death Strike a lot in this deck quite quickly, in fact. Yeah, I actually don't have that many things here that I'm really that keen on. I guess at the start of each turn, drawing discard one's not bad means that I can include a couple cards in the deck that give us a benefit on discard. All right, I'll highlight that one too. And there's the Veil, there's the Concentrate, there's the Soul Tide. Okay, well, we don't really get too many decisions there then. Uh, that Disheveled Salesman's not really gonna have anything for us. So I'm probably more likely to follow a path like this. That diversion giving us another card pack, I guess. I may end up just eating this item for souls. So we're turning that off. Yeah, I guess this is our path. Not ridiculously enthused about it. Blade of Darkness into Grasp. Does that break ties on our side? This is going to be what makes me actually finally remember. Blade of Darkness. Yep, okay. Breaks ties uh, in favor of the player. Obviously, 50% more damage on something doing 7 damage. It's 3.5. Is it rounding up or rounding down? It's rounding on our side. Which is to say up. I mean, I guess I throw it, right? Oh, maybe I could have actually killed all of them. Actually? 
Oh, but I don't have threshold, so it doesn't matter if I use sacrifice here. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Well, I may have left myself without the ability to block this up from the turn. It happens. Sometimes you uh, make mistakes. Actually, can I kill all of you? Because if I can kill all of you, maybe we're okay. Delay block eight. <sighs> if I hadn't have just attacked, maybe I could actually kill them all. I think I can actually, maybe. Soul kiss into... On a sin. That power draw kills. I purge a grasp. They yeah, harness sin, I guess. Thought I was going to have more energy than that. I did not have more energy than that. Hopefully, the concentrate we're about to pick up is going to uh, resolve that issue. That issue being that we don't have energy. Uh, so these cards now trigger two times. So, there we go. I may not want to kill until next turn, just for the sake of getting Sacrifice to come off cooldown in the first turn of the next battle. I don't know if I'm going to be using it there, but I'd like the option to use it there, possibly, if I wanted to. Good blanket. And there's the lethal. Upgrading all of the grasps in the base deck is actually really good. They are extremely valuable upgrades. Does it beat out Concentrate? It's really hard to beat out Concentrate is the thing. Three energy for one. Mm, we kind of like purging cards right now. The annoying thing is I know... It's, uh, I, d d annoying. The, the thing that is limiting me from being able to upgrade Concentrate, which I would love to upgrade, is that I know how much this can destroy us if I don't upgrade those base cards there a little at least. Manning. Gain two Corruption, Purge to deal six damage to a random enemy, and treat the Void Stone on Purge as well. Honestly, anything that triggers a Void Stone on Purge, pretty good. Uh... Build up deals five damage. Deal five damage. It's an ability that deals five damage. Interesting. Uh, had Death Strike one, Soul Tide two, and Overcharge one. Nice. I like that too. Uh, and then Shadow Dancer. Death Strike, Soul Tide, and Rage. Let's get some Overcharge in here. It's only really overcharged if I actually upgrade it as well. Uh, build up goes into the deck. Guess we'll take a grasp out. All right, Cursed Adam. What are you? If you kept a non-affliction card in your hand at the end of the next turn, uh, end of the previous turn rather, you will draw one more card at the start of your next. What if I destroy the item? Yeah, what if I destroyed the item and tried to get more stuff out of that soul collector instead at the end? How many cards in this deck will we actively want to retain rather than purge? It's possible the answer is none. I'm going to destroy the item. Also prevents me from having to remove a void at a shrine, which is definitely a huge, huge contributing factor in my decision here. I'm sure I'm just blind one. Oh my god, look at that open turn. Uh, yeah, that's damage, baby. Let's do it. Mm hmm, got him. Sometimes, um. 
15. Um, like, yeah, I'd love to start hitting them, but I should probably wait until I'm going to kill. Two times normally, I guess. I'm sure I'll cast that just so I get a full hand with full energy next turn. There we are. Yikes, nothing to actually build up to here. that an extra time as well. Alright, we'll soul kiss and then security blanket for a bunch of block. Dodge that and harness sin as well. Can I? Okay, good. <laughs> I was just wondering if I was ever going to get damage again. And yes, the answer is yes. Soul roulette. Yeah, we're going to want that in the deck as well, as quickly as possible. It's the soul kisses that I want out of it instead. Build up. There's no way you're my recipient for the Black Void Stone, is it? No, no, it's probably Concentrate. Yeah, it's Concentrate, especially after Concentrate gets upgraded, but... Even before it's upgraded, it can go in here. I mean, I guess build up is used to build up to some effect. So we'll pop that in there too. And cut a grasp, I guess. I was trying to work up to cutting a soul kiss instead, but I don't know about that. Oh, secret room here. Oh my God, secret room here. Come on, come on. Giant value. Distraction. Should you discard this, you just get block. Nice. Range deck discard. Um, yeah, nothing really to do here. For every four cards you play in a turn, the creature gains an AP. Grasp. Yo. I've only got one threat next turn. Purge, purge, purge. I could double play Concentrate right now, but to what end? I think I actually purge it. If I can only play three cards in a turn and that's what I'm playing around right now a little bit, then yeah, it seems like the right purge. Harness Sin to try and keep my perfect. Hurts, but I think I'm doing it. Gosh. There's no way I'm blocking next turn. Yep. Not discard that either. Threshold for death strike, yikes. Alright, I'm just gonna build up. Wasn't the one that we got to keep in hand, unfortunately. Let's get some more Soul Tithe. Let's block. Actually, the Spirit Shield full defenses. We actually did it. I really didn't think that was possible for us. Huh. Security blanket next turn is a full defend as well. We get a death strike and waste the rage this turn. I uh, can get death strike next turn. Really? <laughs> Man, I wish I could just block for one. Okay. 
Okay, let's... Soul Kiss. Security Blanket. Do I need to Death Strike right here? That next hand's not great. No. Just gonna cast that card twice. Okay. Okay. We have to set up for lethal next turn or this turn. Just... <laughs> but okay, we'll do it. Uh... Concentrate, concentrate again. Purge that final card. And reasonable attack draws. Excuse me. Uh, I guess that technically counts. Yeah. When it wins the fight, it counts. Especially without having to use the ability, which I was kind of resigned to having to use there. Upgrade the concentrate, knowing that it needs it. Exchange a non-class card for a random card. I may not even have any. Oh, blood, blood. Hmm. I mean, I'm not really planning on using that. Recur one, lose corruption equal to its cost. Right again. Lock 13, overcharge one for each affliction in hand. I'm gonna roll one on file time. Because the uncommon and rare chance is increasing each roll. Gain two corruption purge to deal damage to a random enemy. Yeah, sure, fine. Let's go down to the shrine. Pick up some essence as well as some sewers. Uh, it's pretty important I try and stay safe in these fights. Try and gain. I think you gain extra souls by staying safe in these fights. I think, right? I thought, I thought so. Uh, gosh. I, I may want to manage the deck down a couple grasps and put a couple harness sins back in here. Yeah. And then the vulnerable, this enemy can't be made vulnerable. So we'll take that out and put another... Uh, excuse me. Another harness back in. Do I want to put a soul tax out there? Soul Tax with Rage 25% is actually a pretty good target for Death Strike. And he's scrambling to damage the enemy. I don't know. Every fifth time you block a uh, purge a card, rather, not block a card, purge a card, uh, block eight. Interesting. Each battle, after reshuffling your deck for the first time, gain two corruption per affliction shuffled. I interesting. I want both that and the nest egg. The nest egg add 10 void cards to your discard at the start of battle. Those void cards. Do I really want them? I mean, if I don't want them, I can just discard. Every fifth time you purge a card, block eight. That's really good. The only problem is a lot of the time it ends up dictating your turns entirely. It's, it's really good. It's just really good, though. I kind of want to start throwing soul tithes just to get some soul uh, some grasps to get soul tithe. I'll throw one and then I think I'll, I'll throw a second one and then purge. Yeah, it's a five out of six here. We do get the defense that we need in hand, which is good. Build up into a soul roulette and then harness sin, harness sin, harness sin. Yeah. 22 threat next turn as well. We're not able to block that. Not that consistently. Uh, 
Uh, so we're sifting here. If I discard this, I get the rage 50% this turn. Which I don't really actually want this turn. But I may just want to get it out of the draw pile so I don't draw into it. Spirit shield left in the draw pile as well. Delay block for eight. You should start with a power draw, just get more information. Oh, right, of course, that was dueled. Um. So it's not triggering on Purge and on Threshold Five. It's triggering on Purge with Threshold Five. Is that it? Purge that one and play this. Yeah, I didn't get 25% rage there. So yeah, that's how that's working. Play, play. 25 threat next turn. Thankfully, we do have a Spirit Shield in the draw pile. Uh, should I Purge that? I guess. Gosh, that feels bad. Oof. One more soul tie, then we can start casting the sacrifice. I probably should have just cast it on turn one. We're on round four. Could have easily, easily had it out by now. Discard souls kiss here? I think so. And that is eight soul tides. Now we can sacrifice as well. Like, we got good damage now. even purge that for more rage if I really wanted to. For the record, I don't really want to, but could do. That spirit shield's already enough by itself. 28 more damage in. And we have 10 threat next turn. Pretty likely to be able to deal with 10 threat next turn. I do only want to purge one more card this turn. Okay, cool. And I only wanted to purge one more card that turn because now my next purging card actually blocks us. Blocks forest, that is. Mm, I mean, I should be playing grasps every single turn, every single time I see one. I'm gonna need to be able to overcharge and play the Harness Sin, right? Well, no, because I'm going to purge a card this turn, probably. What? How? How many cards do I have to discard here? What have you done? Oh, Soul Relate is making me draw discard, and the enemy is also giving us Haunt 2, so we're discarding two cards at the start of the turn. Right? Inflicted Fear 2. I guess that's honest, just not demonstrated. Overcharge. Overcharge. Play Harness Sin and Purge Grasp. Yikes. It's time we get the block, though. Speaking of how we die, I mean block. Uh, Sifting past the card here. Yes, probably pass the least aggressive card I can get it past. Hmm. I'm tempted to find out if burning all of those harness sins is going to be enough to get us lethal. I'm really tempted. Seven more damage. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Okay, uh, green void stone, yes, because we have stuff we want to put in our opening hand. Yellow void stone, also yes, because 
I like it. So the green void stone, I want to put soul roulette in my opening hand, guaranteed. The yellow void stone's a weird one though. It seems like like security blanket loves it. Trigs an additional time with it. Anything that's gonna be played with Death Strike consistently loves it as well. I think I just put it in the security blanket, make that an incredibly dense block card. And then the blue, I guess, in uh, one of the harness sins. Sure. Put the Blade of Darkness back in, cut another Grasp out. Actually, sorry, we put the Grasp back in, cut a Harness Sin out. Trying to keep ourselves perfect for that fight. It did not work. Hopefully we keep ourselves alive through this one. <laughs> I'm actually legitimately scared. This is the Skeletal Mage. Ooh. Okay, every third heavy card will cost zero. No, a fourth card each turn you purge or discard is returned to hand. How many times do I porch four cards in the same hand? Each time the, sorry, each turn, the first time you draw during your turn, draw a card, discard a card, and gain a corruption. I mean, all of these get better with more draw. Hmm. I have one drawing card in the deck right now. Oh, well, Soul Roulette will draw for us every single turn. Okay, no blood of play. I think I like it. All right, Skeletal Mage. Let's Soul Roll. All the way through that, and... I'm gonna get some soul tithe up. 50% don't really make much sense right now. Okay. Can I? No. I can't get the security blanket to trigger two times this turn. I have nothing in hand that wants to be discarded either. That gives vulnerability, but I'm not really gonna be attacking much this turn. Well, I mean, Spirit Shield does nothing for us right now, so let's get rid of that. And Blade of Darkness, I guess, too. Okay. Let's start with this Harness Sin. Power draw. Drawing is good. I'd like to leave the security blanket in hand if possible. We also leave ourselves with the ability to purge for the defense next turn. Okay, the discard here is gonna be Soul's Kiss. Definitely. Get the rage out of it. Well, no, it's a good leap up in our Soul Tithe. Actually, I'll probably play it then. Let's play that. Okay, if I purge a single card this turn, that's enough already. So we purge the Harness Sin, giving us Rage 25%. And then I get to play a damage card. I do like a good damage card. Uh, I'll, I'll get more Rage and another Death Strike before it. It won't cast an extra time because of the extra Death Strike, but it, it's there, at least. Uh, incoming damage is huge. 24 plus the 12 from myself. If I'm discarding cards from the draw pile... Honestly, I'm gonna need more cards to discard from the draw pile. Well, no, I'm not, because I, I have Sift there. Yeah, no, 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 I don't, I don't, actually. No, fine. Uh, let's double cast the Security Blankets. Unless I'm purging five cards this turn, my defense has got to be the spirit shield now.
right? Yeah, that's right. Just power draw. Then discard Soul's Kiss. For more damage this turn, I guess. Can I defend one more? I think I can. But I do really want to actually start hitting the enemy again this turn. So I'm going to Blade of Darkness and Grasp there. And then purge two cards and play Spirit Shield, I guess. Oh my god, I should have purged them first. They would have given us rage. What? But. Sequencing. Hmm. All cards cost one extra this turn. Well then, concentrate doesn't make any sense, does it? We'll be looking for lethal this turn if we can get it. Yeah, we can. Oh. oh my god, I did the same sequencing error there as well. Oops. It's okay, it didn't kill us. <laughs> Which means it was a good play, right? Uh, After you play your second card in a turn, Rage 50%, that is a lot of extra damage for us. We also have the Rusty Scythe here. Each time you gain Corruption, deal two damage to a random enemy. That's also actually really good for us. And then the Long Pliers. At the start of each battle, Sift 3. That's also really good there's also a black void stone here hey i'm open to the option of black void stone rusty scythe instead of the flask of red juice but 50 percent rage that easily you can't turn that down can you can you i don't think you can okay blade of darkness is only used on a turn where i am about to pivot to aggression so sure you can have that Errant Scout Light. And we also get a card that will be discarded for block, which is nice. Um, okay, I do get to draw the card this turn as well. Nice. Soul Roulette will concentrate, concentrate. And then give myself the ability to actually draw a card, and then it still wants me to discard a card. 17th threat next turn. So I probably want to hold on to the security blanket if possible. I left myself in a position where purging a card is going to be six block for us this upcoming turn. Uh, still nothing that wants me to discard it right now. I think I do need those soul kisses still. You're not damaging us next turn. I'm gonna drop a harness in then. Soul Kiss, getting some good delayed block there. Use a security blanket. And then I'm thinking double purge. But I've already got the Watcher set up for the next turn. No, but I'm already blocking next turn with the threat anyway. So what, am I going to hold these cards for two turns so that I can use the Watcher? No, purge, purge, get out of here. Uh, We're on seven Soul Tides right now. So we're one short of being able to use Sacrifice for Death Strike. But you best believe I'm going to keep an eye on it. Scar the days, thankfully, because we know it dies when it gets discarded. It's an easy way to get rid of it. Uh, I think I get rid of that Soul's Kiss now. Three. So I'm going to block three independently this turn somehow. That is eight Soul Tide, though. Can't be in this fight for much longer. Maybe that limit doesn't actually need to be here. So that would be harness sin. Urge limit. Setting this up for an extra trigger is good. Sets up more rage and more vulnerability as well. 
And then I'll build up to the grasp. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I'm thinking about right here, right? 225% rage, one death strike, and 12 soul tithe. We've got 17 corruption. We're at the end of the first cycle, round three. Nuke the enemy for 160 damage. So if you set yourself up correctly, you can do things like that. It's just getting there. Oh, I can reroll here as well? Ooh, interesting. Uh, okay, over on the left, opportunity. Saltite 2, threshold to deal corruption damage. Uh, ooh! Threshold to actually trigger an extra time. That is a great card. We're going to be keeping that one. Second chance. Uh, deals 20 damage. Slay to draw two. We have a lot of cards in this deck that are based around increasing our rage and around allowing us to cast a card two times. Second chance is probably going into the deck, actually. Uh, power Strike. Look, that could end up being a lot of damage, but probably not. Discovery. Put a card from your deck into your hand. Upgrades to remove the cost there for it and even so we'll re-roll the power and get another blade of darkness sure i'll take that dottle off to the shrine pray for some greed all right have a look back at the deck manager the diversion definitely goes in instead of one of the harness sins second chance definitely goes in instead of a harness sin as well Opportunity goes in instead of a grasp. I do want to get another Blade of Darkness in there, but I don't think I need to do it yet. Alright. One of the easiest fights we can get on this loss. Hmm. Start with a double concentrate here. There's our rage 50%. Second chance is looking pretty good already. Sure. I'm gonna murder you. Just really hoping to draw into more defense. Like enough defense to actually. Oh, I don't know. Defend? Would be nice. I'm going to purge the final card and actually get enough block there. There we go. I did it. <laughs> uh, I very, very rarely kill the Cinder Hell first. Good experience. Limit. Let's use the... Let's use the power draw this turn. Hmm. Rough. So I should want to gain more defense next turn, I guess. Leave that there. And then opportunities. Not enough to kill you. But if I purge one, it is. Good. Incoming damage next turn is four that is currently unblocked. Uh, I've got a security blanket coming to the next hand. Sure, I can purge these then. Hmm. Okay, don't use the sacrifice if we can get through it without it. It's definitely something like purge, play... And with Death Strike, that's already lethal. This isn't an attack card, so the Cinder Howl doesn't attack me back for using it. And then we get to blow you up. 25 threat next turn. I'm going to just keep the Spirit Shield in hand. It also means I don't have to use the Watcher this turn either. Which, if I can leave that on four going into the next combat, I'm going to be ecstatic about it. Well. <laughs> Well, that doesn't look like we're leaving that. Um, I guess I'll play Harness in first, just in case. Wow. Just in case it got us enough defense that was going to be. Yikes.
Well, wait a second, as long as I don't purge a card, I'm fine. Sure. Not being able to purge cards is a harsh limitation, but... It's okay, we will manage. Uh, I'm also not death striking, but that's enough damage. We got it. Woo. I don't have a health pot going into this fight, so... Swamp Mistress, please be kind! Swamp Mistress has a well-timed curse. All banes inflicted are dealt straight to your deck. When you draw a bane, this enemy gains plus two AP and I suffer four damage. This curse ward over here has got to die. No banes for me. Killing alone the fights. Killing the guardian alone the fight, rather. They are 25% of the battle progress, so it's not unlikely I actually kill wards the whole time. Let's soul roulette. And then... God, am I going to have to purge a card this turn? Unless I want to use sacrifice. I guess I use sacrifice then. No, wait. No, I have to purge a card this turn anyway. Blech. And you sacrifice. Double eh. Purge, purge. The reason being, the Flask of Red Juice is set up in one more card. I guess I'll use the Sacrifice first as well. It's set up in one more card, so I play the Grass there, and then if I play this second chance, I can just kill a unit. Instantly. Draw a bunch of cards. Oh, I'm gonna discard that Soul's Kiss. Concentrate, concentrate. And then Grasp you. There you go. No Banes! Okay, ignoring the banes that the Swamp Mistress put in there. I couldn't have done anything about that one. Uh, okay, this turn. Is that going to be difficult for block? No. It's fine. This turn could easily just be Soul Kiss, Limit, and Harness Sin. Although it probably uses Power Draw first. Yeah, Power Draw first. Nice. Now it gives me the ability to purge instead. I don't have the ability not to choose a card to go to the discard. Bye-bye, opportunity. I wish it weren't. I wish it weren't so, but it is, so... Goodbye. Okay, we'll purge the harness. Definitely. God, I may actually already be in the realm of trying to kill the main target. I'm not in the realm of trying to kill the main target. Just kill, just kill the chumps. Just kill the chumps, Raps. Do the, th like, obvious thing. There we go. 100% battle progress. Now it's just you and me, Swamp Mistress. I've already got auto block set up next turn. I say auto. It's, it's block on purge. Excuse me? Yo, you want to maybe just cool it the hell down, please? Use that to draw two cards there. My god. Wow. Uh, can I purge concentrate here for the block? I think I have to. Ow. Stop. Stop! It's so many veins! It's so many veins! Uh, discard the Souls Kiss as well, there. Security Blanket is a full block here, thankfully. Blade of Darkness for even more rage. Damage! Damage! Now I just gotta hope that I draw lethal next turn and not infinite banes. Well, that's lethal. Got him. Ooh. Interesting. 
Interesting. A choice presents itself. Laying in the dust before you sit the remains of five totems, silently moving, their power calls to you as you ultimately reach out to one. So I can. These are all spells. Okay. So the lowest cooldown to the highest cooldown, I'm going to go. Flame Ward, cooldown two. Suffer four burning. Block for six. Delay block for ten. Suffer four burning. Oof. There's also the Curse Ward. Gain rage 25% a number of times equal to the number of affliction cards currently in your deck and discard. Adds two banes to your discard. Wow, that would have been 250% uh, rage on cast if I had those eggs in my discard pile still. Spirit Ward. Cooldown for block 15, heal one. Shielded Ward is cooldown for delay block 20. And then Power Ward finally. Delay Rage. 20% and also overcharge. I'm really a death striking deck. So the only situation I'm going to swap to one of these is going to be when I need to just just live. That's going to be Spirit Ward there. Let's finish the fight and two upgrade points 100% of the time there. The second chance upgrade here is huge. Gaining an energy after that. Uh, opportunity triggering additional time is also pretty damn big. It's a lot of soul tie, the tempted gain. All right, having another look at the map rewards. Delay block one anytime you gain or lose soul tithe. Upgrades to delay block two anytime you gain or lose soul tithe. Uh, that's yeah, that's this is really good. I'm gonna click that one. Uh, at the start of the turn, damage a random enemy equal to soul tithe. 13 damage a turn randomly to an enemy you know uh, there's also ghost walk here deal 75% corruption damage lose a corruption ghost unfortunately this is not an attack card and as a result it's not going to be able to use our rage that's the only real reason I don't love that right there each time you discard a card, block one. We we discard cards occasionally. We don't do it often enough to really utilize that. With a shield to actually get a slow as well as a weak. That's nice. Gosh, those are the only two that I really care about that much here. Death Touch. Deals 12 damage. Soul Tide 2. Recur 1. Upgrades to Soul Tide 3. Recur 2. Discard 1. I like that. All right. With a shield is the nearest buy. Hmm. Currently no voids in here, so I probably don't care about that cursed item. Giving us a void. Like, the obvious one is this. Right, in terms of scaffolding here. another wither shield over there. Interesting. It gets my death's touch. It gets my confession. We get another shrine near the very end. Get a bunch of free battles. Like, that's that's the obvious one. Doesn't really give us the ability to spend much of our essence for any value. I think we'll start the path regardless, though. Should delay some block for the next turn. Soul roulette into limits. Purge, purge, and then soul's kiss played. Gives us eight delayed block. Purged a couple cards there as well. Sift a card for the discount. Uh. God, do I want to get the 20 minutes for Rage this turn? Probably not, right? These enemies. Uh, gosh, maybe. If I could discard anything for defense, I would, but I can't, so I won't. Probably do care about Death Strike this turn as well. Oh, I've got a God, that was actually going to be targeting someone. Um. 
Okay, never mind. We got to the security blanket. We're defended. Uh, I should probably leave Spirit Shield in here for the next turn, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna purge both of those for even more rage and then just murder the champion over there. You still give me, yeah, five banes to the deck. That's a lot. Eighteen incoming threat next turn. Do I still need to keep the spirit shield in hand? Mm, possibly. Possibly. Fine. I'll keep it. Uh, choose Goddess Guard. Obviously that one. I guess that one too. Let's concentrate to begin with here. Spirit Shield and then concentrate thereafter also to follow up here. Second Chance is already a kill on the new Cortisone. And it also draws two and gains an energy for us. Love it. So good. Um, so I haven't got Death Strike available or anything like that. That's okay. It's just getting easier. Oh, thank you for discarding that card for me, Bob. I mean, look, I know I have lethal in this hand. I don't really... I just, I just want to make sure that I purge enough cards, I guess. Let's use the... Double on par draw, just give us more cards to purge. Vulnerability, merge ability. Nice. There are any cards in my backpack that aren't in the deck just because I haven't upgraded them yet? Not really, no. The Grasps still want upgrades. Do they? They used to trigger plus one times, but now they trigger... Uh, that is to say, their threshold used to trigger them an extra time rather than dealing just extra damage. Maybe they don't care that much about upgrades now that I have other attacks, like the Soul Tax. Although, Blade of Darkness getting upgraded so that I can actually keep the vulnerability around for another turn. Hey, it's, it's pretty big. Secret? Why no secret room ever? Cycle of Agony. Deal, Corruption Damage, Soul Tide, Loop. Once played, this card will go into your deck. Maybe if I had, like, a really high, expensive build? Or a lot of draw? Look, if I see draw, I'll take it. I'm gonna take the Cycle of Agony. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it at all. Uh, break some greed. We also just got a yellow void stone. Did we not? We did. We did indeed. Uh, that yellow void stone is gonna wanna go on something that's triggering multiple times. Put it on opportunity and damage the enemy, I guess? If diversion, if we upgrade diversion so that it triggers its void stone, that's a really good target for it as well. Yeah, I guess for the moment, at the absolute least, I'll put it on opportunity. The card that actually has the chance to double trigger. Low Beast of Malice. At the start of each turn, Soul Tithe 1, gain 2 Corruption, and block 1. Interesting. Trained Attack Crow. Each time you gain Soul Tithe, deal twice that much damage to all enemies. No, I just want faster gain. Go and Curse of Bracelet. Oh, gosh. So those definitely go out. The only thing is, now do I not purge anything? Or do I just purge three things, try and set myself up for my next, next want watcher entry? 
It's got to be next next, right? The Void Kisses can eventually come out of the deck as well. They're Void Soul Kisses, rather. They're definitely in the realm of... You know that realm. Opportunity can't double cast that here. If I can double cast Opportunity at all, though... And it's threshold six. I'm not going to be able to. Can I defend that? Ten, four, seven. Yeah, I can. Actually, no, I might be able to use opportunity. Okay, so I'm going to attack with the... Yeah, I'm going to attack with the Blade of Darkness this time. Huh? Okay, we get to four Soul Tithe. I'm going to play the Opportunity. It deals soul, it gains Soul Tithe 2 and then has the Threshold at the very bottom. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that this is going to work. Uh, I should play a zero cost before I do this. Get more damage on the card. Yeah, that makes sense. And I should also purge whatever cards I am going to purge before I do it as well. It did it. Nice. Um, let's play the security blanket. I wish I could have hold, uh, held that security blanket for the next turn, to be fair. Build up, second chance in there. I guess it's theoretically possible I kill this turn. Oof. That's going to make it less likely. But not impossible? Question mark? Maybe. Our sprite now is a lot of damage. I think I am going to have to power draw first. I want to dupe the effect of the power draw with the sacrifice, but... Like, really what I want to do is draw into either build up or spirit shields and then be okay for the turn. Fine, let's just do that. Let's just be okay for the turn. Uh -huh. Hilarious game. You got me. You got me some fierce. Or you thought. All right, treasure. Sift three, block two for each affliction discarded. If this, sorry, block two and heal one for each affliction discarded and purge or discard to sift for one. Eh. Purge or discard to sift for one. Mm. Eh. Uh, now we wait, discard one and then add four copies of discarded card to the discarded pile. Eh and deliver from evil. One fourteen overcharge one for each affliction in hand. Draw and discard one. I'll take this as just, you know, something that is going to be okay. Well, actually no, because this is sifting for afflictions. I'll take what I need. It's literally just about uh, having something that might counter a fight if I need to counter a fight specifically. That having a lower trigger as well as a higher block number is good. But I think we gotta focus on the diversion first. And then Diversion is probably the card that is going to want to trigger even more block. So the turn enemy gains damage equal to Soul Tithe. I still don't like... But it's, it's one at all enemies take damage equal to your Soul Tithe. That's 13 every single turn to all enemies. That's not nothing. That actually might even be something. Let me cut another Grasp out of that deck. Do I need to go to that fight? Yes. Still could be more souls and stuff like that. Oh, they give us affliction cards. I should have put the sifting card in. Oops. Mm, no draw for me this turn though. So we'll let into concentrate into concentrate. I don't 
play Blade of Darkness on one of you and purge one card from hand and then hold there. Feel better with this. How fast am I gaining Soul Tithe right now? Well, this turn opportunity is going to take us over the top. Is it? I don't think it is, actually. No, no, it is. It is. It is. So the Soul Tithe number was thrown, uh, shown on the Soul Tithe counter while I was doing the hand resolution there. It was one lower than the Soul Tithe we actually have. Uh, because the resolution of the Cursed Bracelet had not yet gone off. Great. That now means the opportunity is a good uh, opportunity for us. Let's limit unhealthily cleanse. Give me a pretty good opportunity right there. And... Yeah, security blanket. Hold on to this to purge next turn as well. Ugh, my diversion. I was expelled as well. Why are you expelled? Why do they always expel our best cards? <laughs> um, I guess I drop a grasp here. The other grasp as well. I guess. Okay. Well, I've got a pretty good plan for this turn, and it starts with a sacrifice. And it follows up with a build up. And then. I think I play Spirit Shield next? Okay. 52 and draw 2. We've got Death Strike 2, so this will be double cast, meaning it will kill this target. Giving us an extra energy as well. There's another card there, and then... Yeah, ideally we just kill one more target. That, that was a perfect draw right there, actually. Thank you. That's two more. Nice. Two in the same turn is ideal for these enemies. I'm really, really glad that worked out. Oh, another second chance in hand. Feel like I've got another lethal here too. E yes. That'll do it. Uh, I should have posted some cards there. Oops, keep getting that. No, it's confession is so good for us. That's the one that I have to make sure that I pick up. Have I even got an upgrade available after I get Confession? Oh, not necessarily. Yikes. All right, so I'm going to have to hope for an upgrade after the boss, I guess. Oh. Not that I would really hope for anything else. It's a pretty good one. I mean, I could try and kill the Drown this turn. 11, 38, that'll have the bonus of the energy. Also, some more cards. Yeah, I think I do. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it caps our rage. You! Discard both the Souls Kisses here, I think. Give the second chance the inability to kill here because I can't target anyone else. Uh, Taunt, you don't lose a value of that when you get hit or anything, do you? 
Um, let's concentrate two times here. Getting extra rage from the sacrifice makes no sense. Oh my god. I really wish I could play that desperately. So I'm gonna need more block rather than less. We'll just got that one. Mm-hmm. Let's build up first. Gain the rage and death strike thereafter. And I'm probably looking to dupe opportunity and power draw. In what order? Let's not play the diversion. Oh, getting the extra rage, but the extra rage is already gone. It's illusory, not an actual number. Perfect. Don't up on the opportunity. Lethal for you. 31 threat next turn. I've got the spirit shield available here in hand. Uh, I guess I just discard the diversion. It, it leaves a bane in hand. We get more defense from the diversion by discarding it though. So that makes sense. Oh, and also we're discarding two anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, are they limiting our thing anymore? No, our rage can feasibly increase again, right? I think it can. Let's go spirit shield into concentrate just to make sure that the rage flask is off. And it is. Okay, yeah, we can. Oh my god. It's so good. Kill it, draw two cards. Uh, I don't really have Death Strike or anything like that. I play this on a sin. Yeah, I was wondering. That'll do it. I just want to be only one enemy away from the win. Makes it a lot simpler. Okay, so how many cards can I purge is the ultimate question here. Forty-nine, that's enough. Purge, purge, purge. Ideal. Absolutely ideal. Okay, there is the confession finally. Thank you. Hag. Your first time gaining Soul Tithe each turn grants twice the corruption. Ooh, Purify a Deodum as well. The second card you purge each turn causes all debuffs to be reduced by one. Reducing all debuffs by one is pretty good. It doesn't manage our Soul Tithe. Soul Tithe not considered a debuff, right? Ravenhood is faster gain of Soul Tithe as well, though, which is really appealing too. <laughs> soul roll that out there. Uh, I think I can just hard purge this turn as well. Is it hard purge? Maybe I just play Opportunity trying to get some Soul Tithe out of it. Reason. It's 
Soul's Kisses need to get out of this deck at this point. Uh, let's just discard Banes from the draw pile. Wherever it's available, so that the enemy doesn't increase their threat. Something like Soul Kiss into... Uh, lay the Harness in. Okay. And then we double up. Oh god, I'm about to take damage now. Why did I do that to myself? I need to do the hits, but I didn't need to do them in, in that order. Defending would have been totally appropriate. Okay. Just discard those out of hand. I mean, I already have lethal this turn. So now I just want to purge more cards, I guess. Which means literally just purging one card in hand and then murdering. Is there any reason to do anything else? I don't think so. Get him. Alright. I want that confession in the deck, but... Do I have to wait until I have an upgrade available for him, maybe? Hmm. Set up vulnerability 3 on an enemy. Next card will cost 0 energy. I don't think we take either of those. We don't really have much space to make any other value, anyway. <laughs> Lask of purple juice at the very end again, huh? It's good to see you, bud. Uh... Like, yeah, I'll take you. I st I just still need upgrades is the thing. So I, I'll take it if it's going to give you upgrades. Uh, Black Void Stone's incredible, though. Black Void Stone I'm really happy to have here. God, it going in confession, actually. Makes a whole lot of sense. Got a Harness Sin from the deck because we'll need a lot less. Dragon Mother. You limit the amount of rage we can gain. Don't, no, you limit the amount of block we can gain. Yes, yes, of course. Ooh, there's Confession in the opening hand as well. Beautiful. We'll... Solet. Burn, burn. I'm going to get rid of Soul Kiss. Some extra block on next turn. Maybe I actually want to play that. And... Oh, the Grasp, and then next turn I'm looking to use Confession. Maybe I only use one Confession. Maybe that's the secret. At the start of the next turn, we are going to get a single Soul Tide at the absolute least. Second Soul Tides from Soul Roulette. Should have played all of that in a different order if I was going to do it like that, though. Nothing in the draw pile with a discard bonus, unfortunately. Save the Soul's Kiss. So, kiss that Soul. Yeah, this one's not great. We're not defending the turn either. Oh, I needed perfects. Ugh. But uh, I needed perfects as well. I I had the other thing. I knew I needed perfects, and I had the other ability. And I didn't didn't sub it in. I should have subbed it in. That would have been the play. I was I was planning to, and then I didn't for some reason that I don't know. Maybe you know. Can you tell me why I did that, please? Gotta play that first. I mean, I can. I'll hear a power for Death Strike this turn. Deal 104 damage to the enemy. It's good. Um, Security Blank is already a lot of this. A grasp and I guess a uh, unholy cleansing. There's a big block. 
So we've got Death Strike set up for power draw. Nice. And for opportunity. I want to purge three cards here for the full defend now. I think so. Almost certainly killing next turn. There's not that many draws that didn't have the ability either to kill or to then cobble together the defense out of the fact they couldn't kill. Um, I'm going to purge four cards here, ideally. Well, I can purge three. I mean, I guess I go Essence Soul. Don't need to, but I will. Green Void Stone, get the limit into the opening hand as well. Please let me perfect some of these fights, please. Tixidimus, as well as the Unholy Creation. Oh man, when when the, the Concentrate turns up in these opening hand as well, that's just lovely. One, two. Yeah, but. Uh, then power draw. I guess. I don't want to purge a card. So I guess playing something like Soul's Kiss makes a lot of sense. Nice. Leaves me with my purge next turn. Just short of the Soul Tide that would have gotten me my Death Strike that turn, but that's okay. We get the Soul Tide for it this turn. Um, security Blanket is already the full defense. Get rid of that. Uh, Unholy Cleansing needs an upgrade as well to really be super useful here. So we'll Security Blanket. Confession. Uh, that's already got Death Strike, right? Yep. Purge. I guess I go for a second Death Strike. Nice. Please tell me this Soul Type gain per turn strategy is uh, is 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 good. Please, game. Harness, harness. That'll do already. It's not enough for a kill. Uh, we can set up a... Oh my god, maybe I want to go against a mainline target like that. Let's start with the harness sin. Drawing a card, discarding a card. My god. My god. That's an incredible pickup here. Uh... Okay, so we use build up and they can double the blade of darkness and then double this as well. Oh my god, that actually kills a target instantaneously right now as well. I'm just going to gain an energy. So that'd be 72 and this would be 114 times vulnerability of 50%. So 57 on top of 114 is 121, 171. 171 with 72 is 100, 200. Okay, it's not lethal. Could certainly be further from lethal. One of the creations this turn. Maybe I just purge these four cards. Yeah. Get myself the block through the Watcher. Or delay block for the next turn. No, that's a good card. I want to keep that card. No. <laughs> oh. 122 threat next turn is a lot. Start power drop. Okay, mm okay. Drop that diversion for a full block, and now I can happily purge Harness Sins away to my heart's content.
The sun gaining soul tithe each turn grants twice the corruption? Really? I I thought that would trigger on the, the relics and stuff like that that I have, rather than, I guess that may be a pre-turn phase then? That makes this a lot better. Hang on. 14 soul tithe? Hang on. I, I maybe played the limit after I had 14 soul tithe then? Grasp again. Honestly, it's probably just purge and wait for more damage. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that was right. Get that Bane out of there. Annoying. Looks like I am going to take damage this turn. Actually, no. Sure. No! No! They, they are minions! I just wanted some upgrades from the purple flask. <laughs> it's all I wanted. It's a lot of damage. God. This is ridiculous. We literally survive on one after perfecting the entire rest of the fight. <sighs> Why? Why? Use change down there. I have to try is the thing. There are upgrades I still desperately need. Thankfully, I do have two health bots that I can just pop out there on that first turn. I do want to defend next turn as well, but I want to get all the powers out this turn too. Fine, I'm going to be purging this turn, I think. Some good powers to get out there. I don't think the... I don't think Confession ever paid for itself. Or anytime you gain or lose Soul Tithe. I had two of them out and I got like four delay block occasionally. But I'm gaining Soul Tithe at the start of my turn two times and then every... Well, not every. A lot of cards cast give his Soul Tithe back. I don't know. Uh, probably not really going to be able to utilize Spirit Shield this cycle. Let's draw a card as well. Interesting. Watch two more. Get two souls kisses out there. Set us up for another death strike as well. I'm happy to do that soon rather than later for the sake of the uh, extra. Cooldown time. We did just drop both defensive things there, I'm aware. Concentrate into concentrate. Pop a security blanket. So it's blade of... No, I can't do that. If I want to double cast the second chance, I have to do it early. It's not going to work out for us then. So instead we... 
build up. Yeah, we'll be able to kill a target with it. Let's go for the Runic Pillar and take less damage next turn. Well, at least purging two of those gave us some block. For those not enthused to see the two cards I can't cast. By the by, that means the uh, purple flask is not going to trigger this fight. Just, 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 just. Um. So I'll discard both harness sins. Light of darkness is nice. I'm going to draw more cards right now. Perfect. Guess I'll full block and purge that card then. You got me, game. You got me damn good. Death Strike. I can get a second Death Strike this turn if I really want it. I think I will take that opportunity. Let's instead go with Build Up. Grasp for Lethal. Second chance for damage and then just follow up in the future. goes. Where the Heart of Sin goes. Purge. How many cards here? Three and then we kill. Purge, 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 kill. Oh, why? Why? Um, there's loose change in there if I really want it. Honestly, I don't think I stop any of the... Maybe Death Touch goes in instead of one of the... Honestly, it shouldn't go in instead of one of the Grasps. It needs to be taken back out immediately. That was wrong play. If it was upgraded, hey, it could go in, but... <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it's not getting upgraded. Oh, God. All right, get back in there, Grasp. I kind of expect this fight to kill me. Without extra access to Deathstrike, I think I'm dead too, though. Oh, let's draw another card on turn one. Nice. Even gives us the ability to discard the Souls Kiss, which is fine, I guess. Punch, punch. Nice. Just gonna get as much of that set up on turn one as I can. Guard Diversion there. Uh, I guess I harness him too. Gosh. You really want me to discard everything right there, unfortunately. Man, that sucked. I'm going to be taking damage here if I want to play the Double Confession. Right? There's nothing that's just generating some block for us while I do everything else. Nope. God, I really want to keep it perfect. If only you were my block card. Keeping the confession in hand. I think the fight's gonna go long enough that if I can find a turn to play it two times, it's gonna be worth finding that turn to play it two times. A turn where I already have a bunch of extra energy from Concentrate, it's a pretty good turn for it. Yeah, it, 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 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just continue setting up for future turns. Set myself up with a watcher. Set myself up with some energy. I may even hold off on sacrificing here just so that I can get the extra rage out on a specific turn. Yeah, so we just soul tithed at the start of the turn. We'll see if I get some delayed block out of it. Uh, drop grasp, I guess, here. Yeah. Wait a second. I've got delay block two. However, whenever I gain or lose soul tithe, I delay block two. This has given me delay block two. So the cursed bracelet started this turn, gave us a soul tithe. However, soul roulette also started this turn, gave us a soul tithe. So two different triggers of soul tithe origins are uh, both attempted to occur, but only one of them did. Uh, what do I do now? I mean, security blanket's probably part of this turn, right? Start with sacrificing to get some rage. Make some damage. Nice. Let's double up on you. Um, that's not lethal. It means I'm gonna have to trade this in for a different card. Oof. Play it and leave myself with some more block for the next turn, I guess, rather than purging. Yeah, I think we're probably dead here. Not being able to upgrade that confession and then it not seeming to trigger for all, like, see, it didn't even trigger this turn. I definitely gained Soul Tithe. The Soul Tithe number is too higher than it was previously. I definitely gained Soul Tithe. Ah, uh, dang. Maybe it's whenever you gain or lose Soul Tithe. So the relics and buffs doing it doesn't count? That's weird if so. Um, that said, the, the turnaround issue on kind of like, uh, turnaround issue, the turnaround time on, um, the game is still in early access by the way, I mentioned at the very start uh, a couple times. Um, it's also in the description down below, but the turnaround time on uh, fixing kind of like hot fixy kind of things like this is very, very, very quick with this game. For instance, the energy bug that I was having in episode three was fixed before episode four was recorded. Mm, I should probably power draw. Set myself up with more cards in hand. Gotta get a grasp, I guess, there. Let's concentrate, concentrate. Pop a giant spirit shield, also. It's not lethal yet. It's damned close. Actually, just, just off. Incredible. All right, well, I'm gonna start playing some defense then. Hmm, purge that one. There we go. All right, can I get the second? Just got a card from the deck. Let's go with the lowest value one right there. So security blanket into diversion. So build up over there and just some damage, I guess. Uh, 53 threat next turn. 
I actually just do not have the ability to generate 53 defense. So the only thing I can do next turn hey, somehow is attempt to murder. So I know where power draw is at least. But ideally it wouldn't be the card that I'm double casting here. So instead I'll use Harness Sin to draw to opportunity as well as build up. Wow. I have to drop grass there if I want to have the ability to possibly win. So it's already lethal over on that side, and then it would be that, build up, and power draw. It doesn't really make a difference, because we were almost certainly still dead. Yeah, and we're definitely dead. See here? Like... 139, yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure we were definitely dead, even though I cast that on the wrong enemy there. I was trying to drag it up and across, but I didn't drag it far enough. No. Just didn't have enough cards to really cast and do anything with. Man, this confession was real heavy. I was hoping it was going to give us a lot of value. Wait a second. I played grass. I played grass. Wait. Is it not doing anything because... Yeah. While at 13 or more Soul Tithe, Soul Tithe gaining effects give corruption instead. Keyword there being instead. So because we're not gaining Soul Tithe, it's not triggering confession. That may have accounted for all of it. Yeah, the problem there was trying to find a damage, uh, sorry, a, d a damage, a defensive engine while I was trying to do everything else. We scaled our damage pretty ridiculously, which was nice. It's just, uh, so did the enemies, which was less. For the moment! Let me say that my name's been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Vault of the Void. This has been a sponsored series on the game thereof. Again, you'll be able to find a link to the game at the top of the description down below. Hopefully you've all been enjoying yourselves. At least as much as I have. Currently on the screen you can see the series playlist for all of the Vault of the Void that I have recorded. Past, present, and probably future. I don't imagine I'd start a new playlist after the fact. As well as a YouTube recommendation and the names of the folks who are just so generously supporting on Patreon.